Yo, what up YouTube? CC back today from MaddenTurf.com going over the third video in our series out of Gun Trips Tight End Flex out of the Houston Texans playbook. Uh, we're we'll going to be covering the second part of our Audible series here. Uh, verticals and PA crossers. Uh, if you guys did not know, this mini scheme is part of a larger scheme that we have over at our site right now at MaddenTurf.com. The twin Texan offense. It is, uh, it's awesome. You guys should go check it out. Uh, but nonetheless, we're including this stuff in here for you guys for free. Like, let's give you a taste of what we have. Uh, so let's go over. I'm just going to call the audible straight out of here, but I will show you guys indeed that these are the audibles. Uh, so as you see here, we do have the audibles of verticals and PA crossers. These are the two we're going to cover. Verticals isn't something you're really going to call a lot, right? Um, it, it's, it doesn't really beat man very well. There's one route on the field stock that beats man. Uh, and a lot of times uh, you can be throwing like the, the Y route. Um, you can sort of snap throw it at times. But I find that's a really dangerous read. So that's not a, a read that I really want to you know teach someone to throw or tell someone to throw. So if you do happen to run verticals, I actually like to either run it stock and then block the running back or just curl the running back. Right. This is the only things that you really want to do to it. And then you're just going to have to make your read. Right. If it's man, the only route that's going to be open for you is essentially the tight end drag. Right. Uh, that's that's really it. You know, but if it's zone, you're going to have to, you know, make that read. But still, the tight end, he's going to be your read so often here uh, just because he gets open because all these other zones get pushed back because of the vertical concepts. And he's just open. Right. There are times when you can throw other routes uh, on this. Uh, if someone is playing like a cover two, you could fade X, obviously, to do that. But you're probably coming out. You're probably coming to the line and other better passing plays that could beat coverages than this. Right. Um, but again, you could. Right. So this here looks like man. It is man. And you see that like that route is not going to be open. Right. So if you do happen to think that there's man coverage here. You either have to make a lot of adjustments or don't run verticals. It's it's really that simple. It's really, really that simple. Uh, if you were seeing man, what I would do is I'd at least slant someone on the left side to give myself dual crossing routes. Uh, but then again, like that running back route that you're going to have there, he's going to sit. He's totally your last read. But, you know, he's not a bad read because a lot of times someone's user does vacate the middle of the field as they are chasing deeper routes or crossing routes sideline to sideline. So keep that in mind. But verticals, not exactly a play. I'm saying, hey, man, you should run this a ton. But if you wanted to mix it in once, maybe twice a game, uh, maybe in a hurry situation, m hoping maybe you can catch someone, you know, off guard. Uh but otherwise, verticals is not going to be something you're going to go to very often. However, PA crossers is a very good play. Uh, it is one of the better plays. I know that a lot of people run it differently. So I'm going to show you guys a few ways that I like to run this, right? Uh, the first way I like to do is I like to fade the tight end, put the running back on an out route, and then slant this backside here. So what this does is it gives me a nice flowing concept, and it has the tight end pushing zones back. And then uh, the, the goal really is to hit one of the deeper crossing routes near the sideline. And that's why you have the running back right on the out route there. Hopefully he's going to either suck down the zone or if the zones aren't sucking down, you could just throw it right to him. Right. You could just throw it right to him. And then these routes generally are going to get pretty open. Uh, if you're playing someone with a lot of really good corners, uh, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit less. And you might have to, you know, be a little more careful with what you do. Uh, but, you know, you're going to be able to hit route like that, that slant coming across. You're going to be able to hit. And on deeper plays, maybe cover twos, uh, you're going to be hitting uh, the Y route more often than not. You know, if you do need to block your running back, you can. But, you know, you have to sort of understand that you are at least taking a route off the field that does help with your entire concept, right? So this is the way that that's that's the first way I like to run it. That's the first way. The second way is a lot of people like to just block the running back and just run it like this. You drag X, right? And leaving the tight end on his route because his route does really help pull zones away at this point then. Since we don't have the running back going out, 
this is the next sort of set that we want to do. And he actually beats man okay, but the other routes are going to beat man a little bit better for you, right? Uh, so that's the second way. Uh, again, you could slant him, but I like to drag him here. It just provides me a like maybe a bit of an easier read where my uh, my routes aren't truly running into each other nearly as much, right? And again, right there, nice 10 yards. Pretty easy game. Pretty easy game. Uh, there are some situational things that people like to do by people. You know, me and some of the other guys who have been running this for years. Uh, sometimes people really like to drag the tight end here and then slant X as well. So you're creating a, a deep, a different type of crossing pattern. But it allows you to, you know, still attack two sides of the play right there, right? You see there, cover two, bam. Uh, there is a certain situational version of this that you can run against cover twos generally. Uh, and I'm going to try and show that to you as best as possible. Might not work because it's practice mode, but why not, right? Why not try? Why not try? Uh, so I would only like to run this to the wide side of the field here. And if you think that someone is in cover two, more importantly, if you know someone is in cover two based on their tendency, you want to fade X, and what I want you to do here is you can do whatever you want with the tight end. Uh, you know, you probably drag him just to keep him in the play a little bit more. You're going to sort of cut the play action off, and you should be able to hit X on his fade pretty pretty well there. Uh, <laughs> so it didn't work there, but like I said, this is practice mode because a lot of times when people are in cover two, they're baselining, they're pressing, right? The computer does not do that for us, so it makes it a little harder to show this to you guys. Uh... But if you go in there and see, and then what you'll notice is the safety will either have to jump out wide or it'll have to jump inside. So we're trying to do something like we did at a fade smash, uh, but because of the play action, it does help suck the corners down just a little bit more to open stuff up for us, especially when we're seeing stuff. And then, you know, you just pass leave that little bomb up there. As you see, I think we probably had the left side as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one more time. Uh, in replay, just to show you guys sort of what we're looking at. Get all the way over here on Julio, right? So as he gets off, you see he's getting pushed there. We could maybe throw Julio, but this is where you need to make the right decision. Which receiver is more open? The safety is clearly, clearly closer to Julio here, so he's not the guy you want to throw to in this case. Uh, other times, Julio would be uh, more down the sideline more down the sideline really uh but again you know this is it's, don't get screamed at and don't just chuck one up like that either but pa crossers is it's a great compliment it's a great compliment because halfback angle we're really attacking the left and middle uh what we're doing with levels is we're attacking the right side of the field in the middle and this one actually allows us to attack a little bit deeper but it also allows us to attack sort of both sides of the field as best as possible, right? Um, there's just so many ways you can run this play. I don't think that there's any horrible, horrible ways to run the play. Um, but if you really are trying to go deep, uh, I do recommend you fading the tight end sort of every time uh, because he is going to push that zone back and he is going to open up more and more space for you every single time. Uh, but again, he's not really a viable read. So hope you guys did enjoy this version. Part two of our audibles for gun trips, tight end flex. If you guys haven't already, hit the like button. Hit the like button. Show us some support. Head on over to MaddenTurf.com. Pick up the guide. It's awesome. If you guys do have any questions, you can hit us up on Twitter at MaddenTurf. Or if you have any questions about this formation in particular, you can hit me up as well at the actual CC. Until next time, hope you guys enjoyed this. I am CC, and I'm out. Peace.